questions. Very kind. Um, again, my name is Meng Hong. Um, it's my great honor to present my work in this event. The, the title of this presentation is Equivalence Testing of a Complex Particle Size Distribution Profile Based on the Earth Movers Distance. Uh, first of all, I want to clarify here it's Earth in the title. We are not talking about this Earth. We don't want to move this one. We are talking about this Earth. However, you may still want to know how the moving Earth can be related to the generic development. So in this presentation, please allow me like a less than 20 minutes to lay out the story. Um, first, I will give a background about particle size distribution equivalence test. Then I will introduce the developed approach. Uh, then I will use a case study to demonstrate um, the usefulness of the approach. Then I will conclude this presentation. Background. The particle size distribution, uh, I will use PSD. Comparison can be used for tool to assess equivalence between a generic product and the ROD product. The FDA has recommended the population by equivalence PBE statistical approach on D50 and the span uh, value to compare the PSD of a generic and ROD products when appropriate. Uh, recently, uh, we may notice a new measure, namely uh, Earth Mover Distance, EMD. It's recommended in the product specific guidance for the PSD uh, analysis. Uh, the slide is quite busy, but I don't want to go to the detail of the text. I just want to show you the, the two PSG already recommend this approach. And the right uh, block of the text uh, give our uh, bit of a, like a details how the menu, I mean the uh, utilization of the method. Uh, I, I will um, give more introduction about that. It's a... Um, uh, out of curiosity, we still want to know why the EMD is added in the PSG rather than the conventional D50 and span. Uh, let's first look at the definition of D50 and span. As shown in this figure, uh, we can see the D50 referred to the uh, uh, refer to the median of the particle size distribution, and the span mainly uh, looking at variability of the distribution. But when we use this metric, actually, there is assumption behind that uh, we may not be aware, which is a monomode uh, assumption. We assume the profile is a monomode, which is a, a single peak. However, for a complex, for example, multimode PSD uh, profile, D50 span, may not be appropriate metric uh, for the analysis. Uh, I will use this um, example to show. Uh, in this figure, we can see the PSD profile shows a shape of two peak, which means the D50 may be located in the valley between the peak. Uh, therefore, uh, bearing less important information. Then what if I want to do the equivalence test for this kind of a profile? Here's a place where EMD come into play. What is EMD? EMD was derived from the classical transportation question. Let's say we have two pile of Earth. One we call the current pile, another we call the empire. Then the EMD is developed to answer a question. What is the minimal cost of moving Earth from current pile to the empire? But please note, first, the cost here uh, we are talking about both amount of Earth moved and also moving distance. Uh, second, if the Earth pile is considered as a histogram, then the EMD can be used to assess the difference between the histograms. Uh, here's how the EMD was, can be used for the profile comparison. The EMD is a widely used tool uh, in the pattern recognition machine learning, computer uh, vision, et cetera, especially for discriminant analysis of a histogram type data. 
we, as we all know, PSD in, uh, intensity uh, is a typical uh, histogram data. Therefore, the EMD can be used to compare the PSD profile for the equivalence test. Based on the EMD, we develop an equivalence approach for, for, uh, for, compare, for comparing the, the, the particle size distribution profile. Let's say we have a, a one group of RLD profile, another group of uh, test profile. First step, we take average uh, on the RLD profile to, to obtain the mean of RLD profile. We call it uh, reference center. And based on MD, we calculate the distance between individual uh, RLD profile uh, and RLD center to obtain a group of distance to represent the uh, deviation uh, from the individual RLD profile to the RLD center. Uh, likewise, we can obtain another group of distance for, uh, to represent the deviation uh, from the individual test profile to the RLD uh, center. Then uh, for these two groups of distance, we apply PVE to draw the statistical approach, I um, mean the conclusion. Uh, next, I will use a case study, which is a cyclic boring of somical emotion, as a, uh, to demonstrate uh, the, how to use this approach. Uh, this figure shows the PSD profile from the cyclic boring emotion uh, RD product. Uh, from the figure, we can clearly see the uh, the PSD profile is not a monomode uh, profile, which therefore the D15 span may not be sufficient. In order to demonstrate the usefulness of the approach, I will, this case study will include three experiments. In, this, in the first one, uh, we will compare RLD uh, versus RLD itself to show this approach can pass the accepted product. The second experiment, we will compare RLD versus negative control, which is manufactured by uh, FDA lab with Q1, Q2 property, but modified particle, particle size distribution shape. This, this experiment is mainly for uh, showing the approach can reject the unaccepted uh, product. And the last one, we, will, we conduct additional simulation to test the performance of the approach. Uh, in this case study, we have eight lots of RLD product and uh, three lots of uh, uh, negative control. This slide, sh uh, sorry, this slide shows the results when we compare RLD versus RLD uh, itself. The left figure shows the particle size distribution from two groups of RLD. Uh, we can see although two groups of samples come from the same product, uh, we still see uh, a certain level of uh, variation between them, but overall, the profile match quite well. The right figure shows the histogram of a calculated EMD from two groups of samples. We can see the, the uh, EMD distance from two groups of samples uh, looks very similar in the, in the same range. And uh, follow the, EM, uh, the PBE shows the, the uh, equivalence can be established. This slide shows the results when we compare RLD versus negative control. Uh, similarly, the left figure shows particle size distribution uh, from the reference and the negative control. Even from you know, the visual inspection, we can see two group, uh, two group of uh, particle size distribution are different. Uh, the right figure shows the uh, histogram of a calculated EMD from two group of sample. Well, we can see the, the negative control group shows the significant greater EMD distance than the, the distance from the RLD. Uh, the PBE uh, testing shows the, the equivalence cannot be established. Then uh, I will uh, talk about a little bit about our simulation for the performance test. The main idea of the simulation is to generate a test profile based on the, the RLD profile with a non-deviation and when we systemically change the, the deviation, we can, we can test the performance of the, the, the method. And we developed two methods to, to, to 
generate a text uh, profile. The first one we call the profile changing, as shown in the, the right figure. In the inner figure, uh, the blue curve is the uh, original ROD, and the red curve is the, is our generated or we call the simulated test profile. I will give you more uh, uh, description in the following slides. Another method to change the profile we call the profile shifting. It's quite a straightforward. Just a shift the, the ROD profile to generate the test profile. And uh, uh, also we compare. EMD with other distance uh, method, the, I mean, most commonly used method, one is called the Euclidean distance, another is called the KS distance. Uh, this slide shows the results uh, from our profile changing simulation. Uh, this figure shows the example uh, test profile generated by profile changing, um, which is a red curve. We look at the blue curve, which is a uh, uh, original ROD profile. This is a typical one. We can see uh, this profile shows, I mean, exhibit the shape of a two peak. Uh, the small peak stand on the shoulder of the right uh, large peak. Then we change the area of the right right large peak to generate the, the test profile show show as a the red curve. Uh, oh, in this uh, example, I mean, the, I mean, rec uh, regarding the left figure, we change 13% uh, of area. So then, when when we systemically change the, the profile, um, then we uh, apply the uh, our proposed approach to the data. The right figure shows the results of a passing rate as a function of the profile changing. Uh, the red curve shows the results uh, based on the EMD method. We can see uh, the development method basically uh, will tolerate, tolerate uh, the profile changing within 12%. If the, the changing beyond 12%, the passing rate quickly drops. Uh, the blue and the black curve is uh, it's, it's based on the Another two uh, distance method, KS and Euclidean distance. We can see another two method shows less less sensitivity than the EMD based approach. Uh, this slide shows the results of the simulation uh, with profile shifting. The left figure shows the uh, shows the example we shift two size beam from the ROD profile. Uh, in a similar way, when we systemically change the profile, I mean the shift in the profile, the right table shows the passing rate. Uh, we can see the EMD method and the KS dis distance shows the quite similar re results, um, which allowed kind of a one size beam shifting. Uh, but beyond that, it's uh, absolutely rejected. Uh, Euclidean distance still shows the less sensitivity. So overall, the EMD-based approach offer the optimal performance. Uh, con conclusion: uh, EMD-based equivalence approach can be used for complex PST profile comparison between a generic product and ROD product. The method validation shows the EMD approach is able to effectively reject the unacceptable or un unaccepted product like a negative control, <coughs> and the past accepted product, for example, the reference itself. Uh, finally, the EMD has been recommended in our PSG and uh, has been um, applied to the AND assessment. Uh, here I want to thank my colleagues from the OGD, ORS, OPQ, OTR, DQM, and uh, 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 DPQR, and uh, OTS, OB. If I can...